Lightning, circumstances and precautions. Lightning is a highly destructive natural phenomenon. The reason why nothing on earth is completely protected from the dangers that lightning pose, especially when it comes to living beings, including humans. But a clear understanding of the phenomenon and precautionary measures will help reduce the impact of the destruction caused by lightning. Most important among the precautions is the precautionary measure of not traveling in vast open spaces and taking cover in houses or other buildings. It is advised that one should wander out of the confines of the home only after the impact of the lightning has completely waned. We can gauge the intensity and presence of lightning through the speed and intensity of the sound of the lightning. If the sound of the thunderstorm is heard within 30 seconds of the lightning flash, there is a high chance that the area you are in may be vulnerable to a lightning strike. In such occasion, it is highly dangerous to venture out of residential areas. There is a chance that the lightning may strike in the short interval it takes for one to get inside the house from the peripherals. Because the dangers of lightning are looming close, if no thunderstorm sounds or flashes are seen for more than 30 seconds, it can be presumed that it is safe to venture out. If the thunderstorm is heard after 30 seconds following the lightning flash, you may get enough time to enter a safe building. Because the delay in the sound denotes that the lightning struck a distance away. Even then, the dangers have not subsided. Lightning may strike closer undeclared. We also have to take extra cautions in choosing a secure place to rush to in case of a lightning attack. Buildings that stand alone in war spaces decrease the level of protection. Instead, it increases the risk further. It is the same with buildings standing isolated to large trees. Small or large picnic tents constructed of inflammable materials also increase the risk of struck by lightning. Never take position near an isolated tree during a lightning strike. It invites harm to one during a lightning strike. If during a lightning strike, you rush to a building not protected enough by lightning conductors, there are certain things you need to be aware of. Be sure you stay away from conducting materials and metallic objects. During a lightning strike, it is extremely dangerous to use electrical and electronic appliances or the telephone. Likewise, it is advised not to come in contact with concreted exterior walls since these walls contain highly conducting materials in the form of reinforcements. Another highly dangerous potential for lightning strike is using plumbing accessories like bathtub, taps and showers. It is highly advised not to use or come into contact with water. Most of us Especially children find it fun enough to watch the lightning strike through the window bars. But during a strike, it is highly dangerous to do the same through windows, balconies, or sit-outs where the use of metallic structures is extensive. Such acts are highly prone to a lightning attack. Along with creating extensive harm to humans and other living beings, home appliances and electrical equipments too are susceptible to damage by the huge electric current generated and conducted by the thunderstorm lightning. The amount of damage may be reduced by disconnecting appliances before the signs of an impending lightning strike. Special attention should be given to disconnecting appliances like the radio, television from high-placed antennas. During a lightning strike, Areas like attached or detached car porches, open garages, small or large picnic tents, bus stops, seashores are not protected from the effects of the lightning. Instead, these areas are highly susceptible to lightning. It is also extremely dangerous to spend such time in large stadia or vast open spaces. Lightning is a natural phenomenon which takes just split seconds to fall and inflict damage to both life and limb of all living beings. But precautions go a long way in reducing or preventing the damage. In short, 
better be safe than sorry. So try to avoid open spaces or risky actions during a lightning strike. Do not engage in travel or other activities in high rising mountains or hills during a lightning strike. Also refrain from actions where one comes into contact with water like boating, swimming, fishing and the like. Resting at the foot of tall or isolated trees, objects or buildings is highly dangerous. But if you are in an area with lots of trees, moving to the foot of trees that are lowest in height would help in preventing damage to oneself. It is best not to come in contact with wet or moist roughs, metallic wires or the like during a lightning strike. It is best not to engage in mountaineering or climbing high structures using such rubs. Lightning is conducted at great speeds and distance through metallic or conductive objects. It is best advised to keep a distance from metallic fences or pillars. It is also dangerous to stay near areas where high tension wires pass. It is best advised to stay away and move at least 50 feet away from such structures to avoid danger. If indications of a lightning strike are seen when traveling on a motorbike or bicycle, it is best to stop the vehicle and move away from the vehicle. Bicycles are to be laid down to the ground in order to maximize contact with earth and the passengers are to move away from the object. One should also avoid travel in open cars or jeeps during a lightning strike since such conditions are highly dangerous during a lightning. Though vehicles with no metal roof do not guarantee safety from lightning strikes, covered vehicles guarantee a minimum level of safety. Even when strikes, vehicles having metallic cover roof, lightning can be considered safe. Trains, buses, covered cars can be used for conveyance during a lightning strike. But those having tops constituted of fiberglass or plastic is highly dangerous. When you are traveling in covered vehicles during a lightning strike, the windows of the vehicle have to be closed and passengers should be careful not to touch metallic surfaces or electric components. During a lightning strike, it is advised to take special care of pets and their dwellings. Incidents of pets chained to trees being struck by lightning are common. So it is advisable to take precautionary steps to avoid harm to pets and other domestic animals. If unfortunately you decide to venture out during a lightning strike, please remember that you are putting your life and limbs at stake. Even though lightning strikes are a natural phenomenon, symptoms of it striking an individual or individuals can be sensed beforehand. The symptoms are upstanding hair, pulsation or tingling at skin level, vibration or movement of light metallic objects, or you will hear a crackling static like key key sound. At the time of a lightning strike, if you are in a group, spread out so that there is enough space between each individual. In such conditions, such steps ensure that if one person is struck, it doesn't affect other people in the group. As an added safety measure, sit in a crouching position as follows. Keep feet together, squat down with knees close to the jaw, tuck head and cover both ears. And when the immediate risk is over, rush to a place where more safety can be assured. If we have a general knowledge of first aid and treatment of an individual struck by lightning, it may be helpful to prevent death following lightning strikes. Check the victim's breathing and pulse until professional medical help arrives. If necessary, provide cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR beginning with checking responsiveness. Open airway and check the victim's breathing. Provide artificial respiration and check for signs of air circulation and compressed chest to continue CPR. We pray that no one is subjected to the horrors and pains of struck by lightning.